In the last few minutes, turning to news in the sort of domestic and international worlds, the U.S. dream of winning the World Cup, however small those chances are, still exists. You're telling me there's a chance, right? Because the men's team won what could be the most politically charged match in years. With the U.S. team advancing out of the group stage in Qatar with a one to nothing win over Iran, the game-winning goal scored late in the first half by superstar Christian Pulisic. You might notice he's not looking too thrilled in these picks. He actually got hurt scoring this goal. He couldn't play in the second half. The celebrations coast to coast right after the U.S. went up by one. Look at the crowds. Reno, Kansas City. You can see the moment when that goal happened. That's what it looked like in the foreground. But here's the backdrop, right? Major tensions with reports of threats to the Iranian players after they appeared not to sing the national anthem in their first game. You can see them clearly singing today. And after a wave of anti-regime protests in Iran, the tensions coming into sharper focus after the U.S. Soccer Federation tweeted out a picture of Iran's flag that did not include the emblem of the Islamic Republic. Megan Fitzgerald is in Doha, Qatar. And Megan, there's a lot to this, right? There's the action on the field, but let's start with what happened off the field, right? The geopolitical backdrop that is undeniable here. I was struck by the Secretary of State, Tony Blinken, saying today, basically, the athletes should just do their thing. Like, let the soccer players play soccer. But this is so much more than simply just a soccer game at this moment in time, given everything we're seeing in Iran and the U.S. looking to show support for those demonstrators going up against the Iranian regime. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, in an ideal world, it's just come to the World Cup and, p and play soccer. But that's not what we've seen here. Uh, politics, human rights, protesting, all of that infused with sports. We know that fans are watching much more than just games. Uh, you know, w as we've been talking about, just a couple of days ago, we saw the Iranian players standing in solidarity, seemingly with the women of their country. A bold move. We talked to scholars who say there could be severe consequences either for the team for that or for their family for that. Uh, and and then, of course, we saw protests in the stands. We saw Iranian, pro-Iranian government protesters clashing with people who are anti-Iranian government. Um, and then the other day, the U.S. Soccer Federation trying to stand in solidarity with the women of Iran, uh, making Iran upset. Them asking FIFA to suspend Team USA for 10 games, kick them out of the World Cup. Like you said, there's so much to this. And then you've got the players that are caught in the crosshairs of it all and then told to just go on the field and play your best game. I mean, there's so many distractions, but that's what we saw today. As, as much as we could see, these players left it all out there on the field. Of course, the U.S. victorious. We talked to some fans. They're stoked. They're excited. This is what they flew all this way for. I want you to listen to a little bit of what they had to say. I don't came to three games and I love it. We advanced. We're playing well. Let's go. We feel so proud of our country and we're so happy to be here in Qatar with these amazing people. We've waited eight years for this to be back at a World Cup. How'd it feel for you? Great. Yeah, big win tonight for Team USA. They are now advancing to the knockout round where they are going to take on the Netherlands tally on Saturday. All eyes on that game. You know everybody's going to be looking forward. Nice that Saturday is not a work day for a lot of people, too. I'm sure there will be tons of people, myself yeah. included, watching. Megan Fitzgerald, thank you very much. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.